What's everybody, Moon here, bringing another clip for today of Medieval on PS4 Remake. And I wanted to discuss about the things I think they should update about the game. Because um, I feel like the update 1.0T wasn't as... I don't know. I don't want to, like, give hate to the developers and I'll make an update. That was very generous. Then, you know, fixing the game, of course. Fixing uh, various amount of bugs but I have some ideas I think that what else they should update about the game that I just found in particular that were annoying or not annoying but I just like they could easily fix with another update so first one being um, well actually it should be be about Sir Daniel's head <laughs> because his head movement every time he'd walk I, I run into his problem a lot um, I don't there's a glitch right there by the way which I don't know what they would do about that, but anyways, with Sir Daniel's head glitch, I, I would randomly walk into a level, and then he would, his head would just look at the camera. <laughs> I don't know if it's meant to do that, but it's just, it's just really weird. It freaks me out. Like I don't remember that in the PS1 age, because he was more like, whatever his body was aiming towards, his head would look at. And I think like that was more better. And to have his head like, randomly look at like the top right of the corner or behind them fully and like, I know his skeleton is dead but it just gives me some weird vibes to it um so, <laughs> I don't even know if I can complain about that for an update it's just something that freaks me out I'm not I'm sure people will find it humorous and funny but uh, that just kind of freaks me out <clears throat> sorry and uh the second one should be towards people who have like the PS4 um console and I think there should be an enhancement um I think in particular, they have a setting where um, you can lock on to 30 frames per second. Um, and I feel like it should go beyond that if you have a PS4 Pro, I think. Because I have one, and I want to see this game run amazingly well. So, a st an excellent um, quality of... I don't, I don't know what this game runs in exactly. But I, I want to see a setting where it's like 60 frames or... Um, we have 60 frames in 4K, or you have like a choice of like 1080p, and you we're gonna sacrifice that with. Um, since you're gonna downgrade your resolution, you want a, a lot more higher frame rates. I feel like they should have that option for you to decide, because maybe you wouldn't run on a higher resolution on why you wouldn't. But I just think this is what a, a, what some some people might think and what they might have. Because I th when I was playing uh, another game by Naughty Dog, uh, The Last of Us, they have a setting where it's something like this, and this is where I'm getting the idea from, because I actually liked it, um, because these are options of okay, do you want to run the game at um, 30 frames per second, but the resolution's it's it's amazing, like I think it was like 2,160 frames per second, or maybe like 3,000, or even 4K. I'm not even sure. I think it's somewhere around there. But you know what? You know what I'm getting at? Getting at this? You know, it's it's sacrifice frames per second to get a better resolution, or the resolution to sacrifice and to get better frames per second. You have a third option where it was like, it would try to maintain um, a good resolution. It would try to like I think at a thousand eight hundred p, and then maybe frames per second would steadily hit sixty. Am I am I dip under a little bit? It would still hit it. I think that would be a good one as well. I think that would be a really um, creative um, update for the game of medieval and. Um, I don't know. I think, I think that's what I have currently so far. Like, I don't. I haven't seen any glitches within the game. Uh, within the game. So um, besides one I I had in early in the video, <laughs> but that one was it was whatever. Like I I had done this weird thing where uh, it would be a gate in my way when I was walking. I walked towards in it in the store, and the enemies would chase me one on the other side to go back through the door. They would stop. So the level would like. How, how the programming was taught for them was that they can only stay in that little format around that building. And I feel like they should break that barrier where enemies can go anywhere. And because I mean, why, why would it? Like I, I was literally staring at the pump. It was actually in this level. I was staring at the pumpkin, and he just inches of the way. And because of the door programming, I feel like they had, it kind of like messed with it. And it was just I don't know. It, it kind of annoys me as well. I don't, I don't know why would they even have that? I feel like enemies. Um, to chase you no matter what. I don't, it would make the game harder, but I feel like you, that's how it should be. And just in my point of view. But I don't think that should be worthy of an update. Maybe just an idea. I haven't 
thinking about it. I don't know if it would actually make an update that seriously big. Because I don't know what they would have to do. would have to change so much. And the final one that I think would be amazing to have um, is maybe some side games within the within the mini screen. Um, I haven't been in the game. I don't think they have an option for that. But if they had like mini games for Sir Daniel, um, I think like that would be pretty cool. Or maybe like a multiplayer, or you, or maybe like a co-op. I, I, I can't imagine like the the content and we play value of the game if they would have something actually like that, having uh, like a co-op and to play with somebody with you on like on the couch or online, or even have like a four-player match or eight-player match where maybe you're fighting each other and maybe you're fighting in this so I, in the survival. Like I I think it's a great idea. And then before the game it even starts with the online multiplayer. You can pick your weapons like the sword, and enhancement sword, which I'm sure a lot of people would pick, or the spear, or the crossbow, or maybe it's just the chicken wing, which I just unlocked, which is ridiculous. The damage is terrible, but <laughs> if you want to do it for this humor, I think you should have the option. I think I think a multiplayer would be really fun. That's what I'm trying to get at uh, within the game, because the single player is amazing, and to have that, I think it would be just you know the cherry on the cake. It would be just amazing. I think it would be awesome to have a multiplayer in this game, but even the co-op, so I can play with um, people I want to play at home, in particular uh, my girlfriend. So, um, that being said, I think that's my last. Uh, I don't. Know, I, I guess you can say ideas for an update. So, uh, if you guys find this video okay, go ahead and hit a like button. If you have ideas of your own, don't be shy to leave a comment. I'll go ahead and read it, because I, I love this game. I want to see what other ideas maybe we all have. So, uh, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on the updates, as usual. As I'm going to start doing is making videos about the updates in the game. If you plan to release any more, uh, if you have anything in mind, I'll, I'll keep y'all in, uh, intact. So, I'm glad that if you're watching this end of the video, uh, Moonrunner6, signing out. Right? Yeah, bye.